That's my motherfucking dope. My dope. You stole my motherfucking dope. Okay, we back, man. Authentic talking motherfucking podcast, man. In here today with a real deal. Cash be a legend. Representer. Been killing this shit for a long motherfucking time. You feel me? Act like don't act like you don't know, cause you do know. You know what I'm saying? And we giving this nigga his motherfucking flowers today, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We got my nigga Rob D in the motherfucking building. Rob D, what he do? Chimmy, man. Chimmy. Yeah. Good and good, man. What about you? Man, trying to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to come get the exclusive, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's necessary for the view. You know what I'm saying? Like, you been had your feet in the ground a long time, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, we right here, man. We right here at the motherfucking G spot, man. With this exclusive motherfucking interview. You know what I'm saying? Bro, G spot for sure. Yeah, G spot, G lounge, both of them. G spot, G lounge, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah, man. So shit. Let them know, man. What the fuck going on, man? What we got going on, Rob D, man? Just me being me. Just like I was when I first started. I'm still Rob D. Yeah. Never have changed, never will change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The realest. The realest. I'm the realest. Yeah. Realest. Sure. I'm the realest. Realest. Yeah. Yeah. You go on. So, you got the streets going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? You got TikTok going crazy right now with the single. Where's my dope? You know what I'm saying? You got the merch popping. You know what I'm saying? You're moving around city to city. So, what's the new movement, man? Talk about it. Like, you moving, you grooving, what's, what's... It's just the same, man. It's the same that it's always been. You know okay. what I'm saying? Everything that's going on with me now has been going on. Okay. It just got spotlighted, you know what I mean? So, it's going to still be me talking how I talk, walking how I walk, acting like I act. Okay. And um, selling these shirts, man. Okay, so, so it's gonna be make sure y'all get me these motherfucking shirts because I'm getting mine tonight. Okay. You feel me? Um, but not like... Like the, the single been out for a second, you know what I'm saying? You've been moving around with it, but it seems like it done caught fire again. You know what I'm saying? So what's the what's the what's the what's the movement behind that? Well the movement behind it is gonna just be what I've always done, man. Just keep on running my mouth, you know what I'm saying, speaking of myself in third person. Okay. You know, sometimes first person and, and just letting people know who I am, keeping my my name in their ears, you know what I'm saying? And um that's pretty much it, you know. Keep on, you know, advertising myself. Because it done caught fire. Like, the song, it was hot when it first came out. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it caught fire, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, simmer down, catch fire again, simmer down. You know what I'm saying? So, it's pretty much the same thing. Just, you know, in my opinion, like I've always said, the song, just me, period. I just got to get in front of the right people. It ain't, it ain't no question about my talent. I right. just gotta be in front of the right people. So that's it. So, yeah. um, but it's like now that we got now it's different now because all these phones and yeah. all these platforms and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of a little more easier for us to promote ourselves and shit now. So it's mm -hmm. like now it's I like it, it re it, it's like it re popped out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it did. It did. But you know, far as back to your question, what the movement gonna be? It's gonna be the same. You know what I'm saying? Cause like the difference is now. Of what you're speaking about and then yeah. is then it was still going to be more Rob D physical you know okay. what I'm saying okay. now man shoot they doing all the work you see right. what I'm saying I didn't even put it up you right. see what I'm saying so right. now it's all about the dang on uh, digital world okay. and uh whatever comes behind it that's what it's going to be I mean I'm going to still be behind it because I come from the physical world but I'm going to keep on working the digital world you know what I'm saying as well okay. like I always say you know what I'm saying? Um, the computer is my transportation out of town. You know what I'm saying? Versus okay. back in the day when you just had to jump, jump in that car and right. go out of town. Now you got to do it, press a button, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm allowed to go to Japan by just pressing a button. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just use my my vehicle, my digital vehicle. How you feel about performing now in these new, in, in these new areas? You know what I'm saying? You just left Bama, uh -huh. Atlanta. How you know do I feel saying? about it? Like, yeah, how you feel about, like, like the push of it, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, I love out of town, man. Like, this the thing, man. I know I'm great, you know what I'm saying? I'm God gifted, I was born this way. Right. Ain't gonna never be another me, right? unless I make a son. Okay. So, it comes easy. Okay. When I go out of town, actually I feel 
great because I know now I'm in front of people who ain't never seen me before, never so, heard of me before. That's the key. So I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love. I ain't. I ain't never been afraid or shy. Any venue I get, I'm gonna do my thing. Okay. Okay. Um, and you just recently went down to Atlanta and performed this shit. And um, you and LO went down there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, it just seemed like that market right there caught a whiff, whiff of it and it just went crazy. Yeah, they did. I mean, they caught a whiff of it and they went crazy because I'm talented. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm different. I had an album come out years ago. Um, Man, it was two three. I mean, excuse me, it was two thousand three or two thousand four. I forgot myself. I want to say it was two thousand and three though. Okay. But it was called a unique, and that's because that's exactly what I am. There's never been, and there never will be another Rob D. Right. No, sure. nobody cuts it like me. Like I don't put no cut on it. I just cut straight down the middle. Ain't no cut. So that everything I do is unique. The way I talk, the way I walk, the way I think, everything is unique. So with that song, it called Fire in Atlanta because they are people of the next big thing. They are people of innovation. So when Rob D got up, there was something innovative. They caught, you know what I'm saying? They caught it. And then, you know, I'm a different guy. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm older now. I'm not the same, you know, physical Rob D I was when I first started. When I first started, I had a graduation tassel hanging out my out my pocket. Mm. Yeah, I just graduated. Mm. So now you got Rob D, a season Rob D, okay. who's accumulated some gray hair. You know what I'm saying? So I'm somebody who people are really not even going to expect to rap. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. And then I, I refuse to be uh, dictated and people tell me what to do. I'm not going to dress how people feel I should dress. I'm right. not going to talk how they feel I should talk. I'm not going to hang around nobody who supposed to be cool. Right. I pull my own. You know what I'm saying? So I think Atlanta, matter of fact, I ain't going to say I think. I know Atlanta, they actually love that because I was told that. They were like, man, we like you because you're just a real person. Yeah. We ain't even know you rap, man. You know what I'm saying? We thought you were just sitting in here with everybody else. And you, you know what I'm saying? You humble. Yeah. They were like, you know, you ain't loud. You ain't flashy because that right there is the profile of a typical rapper. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to be, you know, glamoured up and you know what I'm saying? You got to talk stuff and let people know you got money. Right. Even if you are a silent MC, not just MC, if you are a silent rapper these days, even if you are silent, you still going to have something to represent wealth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Whether he going to come in with a, you know, a big bottle or whatever. You know, I don't drink, so he might have a big old bottle and that represents money. But, you know, you got a cat like Rob D coming in. You know what I'm saying? This man got gray hair. He wear clothes that ain't got no name on him or nothing. He's just all the way himself. Right. People ain't understanding that. They like, man, he can't be no rapper. And I think Atlanta seen that. And they were like, man, dude done came in here and stood up on <laughs> everybody. Like For sure. For sure. Now, this is real talk, bro. This is real talk, man. Uh, but look, we're going to go to commercial break, man. We'll come right back with Rob D. Fucking dope, my dope. You stole my motherfucking dope, my dope. Where's my motherfucking dope? Bitch, you stole my motherfucking dope, my dope. You gave my dope to your to your You sold my dope to your daddy, to your daddy. You split my dope with your sus, with your sus. You shared my dope with your family, with your family. I ain't better keep lying to my motherfucking self, bitch. I know what I had, cause I waited for I left.
Okay, we back, man. Raw yeah. motherfucking D in the building. We at the G spot. See G with us right here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Up in there, we just got back from the G spot, Alabama, man. Yeah. Birmingham, boy, Birmingham. crazy down there. Birmingham, what's up? Real club upstairs. Got them the lounge at the bottom. You feel me? Yeah. Going crazy. You feel me? Double spots on y'all, man. Hey, gotta get your grind on, man. Gotta get your grind up. You know what I'm saying? You fucking with real entrepreneurs around this motherfucker, man. Oh, uh, so yeah, Rob, man, just. It's a big shots out, man. Big congrats on, you know what I'm saying, everything that's going on right now, man. You know what I'm saying? I love the motion. Yeah, appreciate love the motion. Right. Thank you, man. That's what it's all about. It's the motion. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, shit, man, just like, where you see, like, where you see Nashville going for the future of music? I have to be specific. I see Nashville going anywhere and everywhere okay. if the right person or people get in position. Mm. But if Nashville continues to be the way it is, I see Nashville going nowhere. Being the same. Nashville being, ain't nothing. Yeah. I mean that. I'm a so, native. Nashville ain't nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like Nashville, Nashville, look man, now I'm finna date the thing. Mm. But I gotta date the thing. It's 2023 right now. We can go to the graveyard right now and dig up somebody from 1986 and they can tell us everything that's finna happen in Nashville. Right. They can tell us everything because this mug ain't changed worth nothing. Yeah. This place is a hater place. This place has never been a, I ain't gonna say never. Right. But I say after, I say after about 2000, okay. after about 2000, Nashville became a pull down. Mm. I say anywhere from, I say anywhere from, 88, 89, mm. even a little bit before that, but like far as rap, you know, back, back when, you know what I'm saying, March was in style, but anybody used to march, Nashville was a push, you know what I'm saying, it was a push you up market, yeah. Nash a pull you down market, but as I said before, them people in the graveyard from 1986, we can dig them up right now and ask them what's gonna happen in Nashville, and they can tell us because this place don't change, man. You know what I'm saying? We had that little bit, of, that 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 little bit of flicker at that point in time, but the hate, the hate, and the, the closed mind. You know what I'm saying? It's always been the majority. I can never say the whole Nashville. I judge upon the majority. So the, you know what I'm saying? The, the minority or the minute part of Nashville, yeah, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's been a little bit of love in Nashville, but the majority, right. 1986, dig them up, and they'll tell you everything's going on right here in 2023. So the overall, the overall, pushing back. Always, I mean, that's how we judge, right? we, we judge on the, on the majority. Okay. So I could never say the whole Nashville ain't nothing, but if the majority rules, then that's going to constitute that the whole Nashville ain't nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's only, you know, a few cool people in, in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a few cool people, but it's a dang on stadium full of crazy people. Outnumbered. It's over with, man. Nah, no, for sure. For sure, man. That's what it is, man. We just here, man. We came to get them and salute you, man. Give you flowers on anything that's going on, man. Some big shots, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. I'm a, you know, we've been on the road with you, you yeah. know what I'm saying, catch you in action, you know yeah. what I'm saying, shaking these clubs, yeah. shaking going the net, you know what I'm road. saying, back on the road with G. To my you know homeboy, Casanova Club in Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham. Yeah, we Birmingham. Club. Man, I got love for Birmingham. Birmingham made a nigga run that motherfucker back, let me. Birmingham <laughs> made that nigga run that shit right. twice. Yeah, Birmingham, man. my Birmingham, first hey. encore Rob, in my whole life. Birmingham, yeah. Alabama was my first encore in my whole life, man. Yeah. I won't forget that lady. Hey, yeah. the bartender. The bartender? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, she made a nigga run that motherfucker back. Shout out, bartender. Hey, yeah. for real, for real. They was dick down there in the Bama, too. You feel me? Salute. Out Casanova Club. Casanova Club, we on our yeah. way. Yeah, you know, Casanova played the NFL. Okay. I got to yeah, be down now. Yeah, See, yeah, I got to. Back down now. I got yeah. to be where um, it's not biased. Nashville is a, a biased city. It's a biased city, it's a clicky city. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's way, all this see. crap, you know? I go somewhere like Birmingham, Alabama. I go to Atlanta, Georgia. I go to anywhere. I go to Florida. You know what I'm saying? Man, I kick butt anywhere I go. Yeah. And they could eat, they could actually even be the same kind right, of people right, as Nashville. Right. But the thing is, they still have enough population or people to still make that difference. Whereas in Nashville, in my opinion, 
it's more haters than it is support. Right. In other places that are bigger markets, it's haters there too. Sure. But the haters are the minute, and right. the support is the uh, majority. So that makes a big difference. They love me anywhere else I go. It get funny here. Yeah. And what we doing? We taking Rob D around some sesame yeah. seeds, steak, steak. Come on. I think I got to find his motherfucking dope. You feel me? Where's yeah. my motherfucking he dope? He got to find his motherfucking dope. So we gonna finish start taking Rob D from steak to steak, city to city, yeah. town to town. Yeah. Are we looking for his dope? And make sure y'all go stream that I song. I know one you said that's got his dope in it. Come on now. And we also got the, the remix. The re yeah, with Project remake. Pat. Remix, Project, Project Pat. Make sure y'all go right. stream that. Yeah, they're streaming all right. right now. Tell them what all you, know what you got, Rob. This, all, you got. This, this stuff is all retro. That's yeah. the thing about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We talking about a song that was written and put out in 2008. DJ, DJ, uh, this is 2023. Yeah. The Project Pack yeah, was 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm ahead of my time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was slept yeah. on. That's why I'm not making no new music because I got stuff that's still new. It's new because nobody has heard it besides yeah, well, my little circle. Right. So it's new. It's still new. So we're boom. Put you all out in the world, yeah. not Rob D. Y'all, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've been, so, we've been to travel with Rob D all over the state. Man, look, man, Rob D, man, let them know, man, how they can follow you, yeah. how they can see all your shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Let them know, man. We My, to town to I like to cuss y'all, so you know what I'm saying. This is me. People always tell me, you know, tone it down because I'm a brand and all that. And I understand that. But I am the brand. And my brand is who I am. I don't let nobody dictate me, tell me how to talk, how to walk, how to dress, yeah. nothing. I'm going to dress how I want to dress. I'm going to talk how I want to talk. Yeah. I'm not putting you no dye in my hair. And so you can find me at Rob D. Nashville, which is R O B D E E. Nashville. Nashville. Rob D. Nashville. That's on God dang it, uh, IG. Yeah, that's on uh, TikTok. Okay. And that's on Facebook. Rob we D. Nashville. Nashville you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a big salute today, man, from Authentic TV, man. You know what I'm saying? Rob D. Shout out to shit Authentic right TV. Now. We live at the motherfucking G spot. They yeah. got the crank up in this bitch. You feel me? Get your good yeah. hookers. Get your good drinks. You know what I'm saying? Bartenders in this bitch doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? On the north side. Cash north side, field. baby. Cashville. You know what yeah. Y'all stay tuned, man. I'm yeah. your host, Fans Money Connect. Rob D and this bitch, and we out. We out, man. Where's my door?